Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2017 Dodge Ram ProMaster 3500 Class B conversion camper van. Overall exterior length from bumper to bumper is exactly 19 feet 6 inches and the height to the top of the roof mounted AC unit up there is right at 9 feet 3 inches and the wheelbase is 159 inch wheelbase and the interior height when you're standing inside from floor to ceiling is exactly six feet two and a half inches and the only reason why i know all these measurements is because i actually took a tape measure to this coach usually i just go by the brochure but uh these are exact measurements i just gave you this coach is excellent condition any dealer would agree the only thing i found it may be an issue to somebody who's more particular than me. Little chip in the paint right there, little touch up paint. Uh, you'd never even notice it, but for 2017 model, uh, this is perfect condition. We're in 2022, so go ahead and show off everything. This camper is fully loaded, except it does not have a generator. That is the only thing it doesn't have. Does have the uh, electric water heater, does have electric refrigerator, uh, convection oven. It does have holding tanks. It has a, a gray tank, which I do not know the size, but it's a huge gray tank, and I'll try to show that off when we're showing off underneath the chassis. And it does have a, a black tank, which is your toilet back there. Um, and I'm not sure what the size is, but uh, anyway, the owner, I think, said it's like a 12-gallon uh, black tank on this thing. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. I uh, don't do very many Class B, so let's uh, start... In the pantry here and then kind of work our way to the back of the bathroom I'm not sure what they're calling a cabinet color but the cabinets are going to be some of the best you're going to find the best quality in a class B uh, you find a lot of these uh, style cabinets on high-end uh, diesel pushers Prevos and stuff like that electric water heater not sure what the gallon is uh, capacity but uh, if I can find out I'll put that in the description Frigidaire electric refrigerator with a freezer these are going to be a lot bigger than uh, your usual dorm fridges which you'll find in some of your class B conversion vans convection oven not just a microwave most of your uh, conversion vans will usually have a microwave but you can actually bake stuff in here muffins stuff like that digital readout is working this coach is 30 amp service that's another big feature on this coach sink and as I pointed out your sink is a, uh, connected to the gray tank holding tank which I'll, again I'll show you when we're outside mm -hmm. up underneath the van Nice add a leaf extension there. I'm going to try to show off everything on this coach. Some of your class B's will just have a, a like a little five gallon jug for fresh water and a five gallon for the drainage for dirty water. But uh, your holding tanks are definitely a nice feature. This is uh, fully self contained. There's your converter right there and breaker box. And you do have a pole up underneath one of the cushions here that go into the floor that makes this into a booth dinette. Your fabric is going to be the ultra leather finish and it's gray in color. Excellent showroom condition. And before I start taking these cushions off and showing what's underneath, just kind of show off the condition of the cushions. And they can flip around upside down and uh, in case for some reason there's scratches or something on this side you can flip it over and it looks exactly the same you do have soft touch vinyl finish on the walls and in the ceiling and the whole coach is insulated walls roof all insulated you do have an AC unit not sure what the capacity is uh, it probably is may, might be a 13,500 BTU AC unit by Coleman That uh, ultra leather, uh, I'm sorry, soft touch vinyl ceiling and fabrics on the walls in the ceiling are easy to clean. Nice reader lights. 
all LED lights all throughout, little puck lights here. Then you have a switch for all your lights right here. Thermostat controls for your AC. And the owner said there is no heat on this uh, as far as they know. So I'm going to say there is not a furnace on this, but a little ceramic space heater uh, more than do the job on this. Gas assist struts. This coach has just a little bit under 19,000 miles on it, which is extremely low. If you're looking in the market right now for a Class B, usually they hover around 50 to 70,000 miles on them. Uh, extremely low mileage on this coach. This is the owners say that this is they think it's a third owner, but the first owner was basically a dealer, a guy who bought it, and that's what they did in Florida. They did conversions. That's the first gentleman who bought this, and I guess it was a company. And then they sold it to the second owner, and then the current owners bought it from them. So really, it's a two owner coach, if that makes any sense. <laughs> oh, night shades. This conversion was extremely well done, professionally done. It's not uh, some shade tree mechanic or something. You do have a 3,000 watt inverter. You do have a huge deep cycle marine battery that I'll show you here in a second underneath that cushion. I'm going to show off the bathroom though before I start taking out these cushions because I'm one handed. You do have fantastic vent fans in the rear and the bathroom area and you do have one up in the uh, just right above the fridge which I forgot to show you which I'll try and not forget foot flush porcelain toilet usually they'll be plastic and your holding tank for the toilet is down up underneath here and like I said uh, the owners think it may be a 12 gallon holding tank for the uh, for the toilet this is a wet bath And I'll show up underneath the chassis. That drain goes up underneath the chest, uh, into the floor underneath the chassis and leads to the huge gray tank, holding tank, which I'll show you. Nice faucet for your shower. And this is like your rain glass. You get the idea. Or, I'm sorry, rain shower. Shower head right there, which is nice. And your curtains come around. And then you have another one here for privacy. You get the idea. Oh, and the tables. I'm sorry, the tabletop and the pole that goes into, you know, get my leg to put the shadow on that. that uh, notch there in the floor that's where the pole and the table go and they're up underneath here and yeah let's go ahead and show it all right i'm one-handed let's try to do this This is going to be where your inverter is and your deep cycle, huge deep cycle marine battery. 3,000 watt inverter. Not sure what the size is on the battery. I'll paint on it there for a second. I don't have my glasses on, but. All your electronics are all centrally located. That's the insulation that you have in the sidewalls there that's on the wheel well. I'm going to say it's probably like an R7 insulation in the sidewalls. Okay, well, let's see if I can put this up. There, I just did that one handed, but anyway. All right. 110 outlet there.
here's your second fantastic vent fan this is like I said this is pretty much fully loaded with the exception of the generator nice little cubby hole there you do have privacy curtain here all right this is gonna be your inverter monitor panel kind of like an energy management system here for your inverter tells you how many amps your volts you're pushing this is going to be your monitor level for your battery that huge deep cycle marine battery fresh water tank and so that, that might be a 29 gallon fresh water tank i'll have to double check there's your water pump right there easy to figure out and this is going to be your thermostat controls for your ac and your roof light or ceiling lights okay cockpit it's sitting on the 3.6 liter 280 horsepower uh, v6 engine and it does have 260 foot pounds of torque 5100 pound tow capability I'm going by the brochure so for 2017 uh, Ram Promaster 3500 so this is the beefed up one from the 2500 this is the big one so and you do have a backup camera that displays on your TV on your radio screen here and it's all smart device ready your radio thermostat controls there nice shifter automatic transmission tow haul mode look at that smart wheel and then let's put the key in the ignition power heated mirrors all the good stuff power windows looks like we got a low tire let the owners know about that there we go there's the mileage 18,754 show off what this looks like when the door is closed tires are original they look to be in excellent shape lifespan of an RV tire is six to eight years so if that tells you anything they're not dry rotted this coach is stored in a huge garage which is behind a house back there the top of the roof is back there this is stored inside pretty much all well it's life for the past year nice running boards there Let's see if i can show you that gray tank huge gray tank up underneath here there it is right there there's your holding tank for your uh, dirty water sinking your sink and your shower yeah, let's go back in the back and show the back and then I'll show you the chassis up underneath and you get more idea of the plumbing setup backup camera nice Ram Promaster badge there and before I open up this, let's show off uh, the plumbing up underneath. Show you how it's all set up. Your toilet pipe is right there, and the whole, that's led up into the black tank holding tank. There's your dump valves or gate valve there, one of them. It's a clean chassis too, no rust. Looks like backup monitors integrated into the bumper. Nice step there.
30 amp service with marine style cord unplug this rolls up and stows away nice and clean i think this is going to be your uh, freshwater holding tank fill here i believe I had to double check cable hookup right there and there's your dump valve for your gray tank right there turtle top set up and I'll back up and show you uh, I'm gonna walk back and kind of show you the full view of the coach a fuel fill uh, it's gasoline 24 gallon uh, gasoline tank on this power windows all the good stuff uh, there are setups where you can spin the seats around you'll have to buy them uh, the owners did not opt for this or the builder when they originally built this, but uh, uh, evidently there's a kit where you can spin around both the pilot and co-pilot seat, but you can look that up online. And the fabrics, looks like all the fabrics are that ultra leather finish. All right, you got the idea. Ram 3500 badge. The running board there. Those might have been part of a package. It's a beautiful van. I think I got everything. If I didn't, please leave a comment up underneath the video. Let me know how I did or let me know what I left out. Uh, good or bad, I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, any comments? Anyway, if you want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.